We're so excited to be getting into another DIY project today. We're upgrading our patio area. We've got some cute ideas to make this space extra cozy, so let's get straight into it. Oh, and if you're new around here, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Lucy and this is my husband Lahiru. Hope you enjoy this week's episode. every single morning so I just wake up and I've got like so much in my mind there's like a massive list of things to do so I can never get back to sleep if, even if I tried so I always come downstairs and I make myself a coffee and then I get on to doing some work on the laptop and seeing all the animals and today we have an all right day actually it's okay weather at the moment we've been just having the most ridiculous amount of rain recently yesterday was horrible it literally rained all day and when it's like that you just can't do anything nothing dries like our washing has just been wet for over a week <laughs> because nothing dries it's humid it's wet there so maybe today's gonna be a good day and we've got a really exciting day planned too so let's go we're really hungry we're gonna have some breakfast and all we've got in the house is chocolate so <laughs> that's what we're having for breakfast oh and thanks to our subscriber who bought us loads of chocolate bars we love you are we gonna eat it all no. Oh, wow. So this is the project we've decided to work on today. We are going to focus on upgrading our patio area. Hi guys, new project is that. New roof making here. Time very very hot time. This dog, this roof making and better dog go inside. Let's go, start. Where are these pieces from? Because there's already hinges on them. Maybe a before gate. Ah, always reusing, repurposing, recycling. All right, now we have to work out the height of the roof. The hero is saying, hi, I'm saying a little bit lower. Maybe drop it down just a little bit, see what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, Rue, because you're going to put wood on the top, right? about midday and as you can see behind me our patio is just full of sun there's no shade it's scorching it's unbearable to sit here in the peak heat of the day and I really love working outside and I actually used to work here in the mornings on the laptop it was so nice and I just really love to be able to use this space again so that's the whole idea about putting this roof up but also when it's raining we can also sit out here and it's just a really nice place to sit in an evening and I'm just really excited to make it nice and cosy, you know? Put some fairy lights up. For our patio, 
patio roof. We're going with these tin sheets because they're super, super cheap. And then obviously they look really, really ugly. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the coconut weave on the top and then figure out the underneath. I need to figure it out. Really ugly, yeah. I think it's fine, no, because I'll show you my idea. It will look beautiful and really natural too. All right, so what's the plan then, Ray? Today making table. It's my idea this is yesterday. Buying the go palette. Today making a table. Palette table. Palette table. All right then. You know what Ta you're doing? Yeah. Okay, I don't. Sure. <laughs> So our plan is to take the palette apart and then reassemble it back together to make a really lovely table for this area. But I'm not sure how well it's gonna go. Looks like the palette pieces are gonna snap, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so we've completed taking off the panels on one of the pallets and that's what we're going to use for the structure of the table. So now we can basically what we've done here. <laughs> so now we're just going to sort the nails out on the framework and then we can place all of these pieces of wood back on and make a really nice table. And then eventually we're going to sand it down, varnish it so it's going to last longer. It's really nice that we're like repurposing these pallets, you know? We've gone to quite a few places and they've used pallets with the furniture and it's so nice and I love that and it's what we're all about is repurposing, recycling and yeah. This is gonna look really nice. I think it's gonna finish off the space real cute. Why are we not using our power saw? How's it working? It doesn't work. Yeah. So for some reason our power saw has stopped working. I'm not sure if it's the saw or the connection, the electricity on this side of the house because this is like the non-renovated side and the wiring's really old and it trips all the time. So I actually think it's probably the electric problem and not the saw problem. But anyway, instead we're going with this old rusty saw to cut all of our wood. So extra hard work for us today. Where did my marking go? That doesn't really look long enough, does it? Right, we're going with 33 inches high. God, I literally don't have the energy to do this. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not straight, but you know. Yeah. Leg number one. And with whatever wood we have left over from these leg pieces or from the pallets, I'm gonna make a little chair because we've got a new desk upstairs in the bedroom. So then you'll be able to sit at the desk and do work. So that'd be really cool. So that will be an upcycled pallet chair. I love these kind of projects, they're so fun. Moment of truth, does it work? Come on, power saw. That 
was definitely a lot easier with the power saw. We would be at it for like two hours with that rusty old saw. So good job we got that working again. These are the legs. So we're now gonna assemble the legs onto the frame and then we can add the little panels of wood to the table and then job done pretty much. Ayo. Sri Lankan nails are literally the worst. Careful of your feet, Rue. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when you're constructing in Sri Lanka, nails like this, like the basic nails, are just a waste of time. They always bend, they're ridiculous. So we found that the only thing that works is concrete nails. So we're gonna have to go out and get concrete nails for our wood. L I K E S Lights. We just took a quick, bless you. We just took a quick break from our table project in our patio area, because Lahiri was doing his English lesson. He's getting really, really good. Talking about learning English and learning a new language in general, we would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Lingoda. With flexible online classes that are available 24 seven, you can choose what day and what time works best with your schedule. Online lessons are held via Zoom for 60 minutes long. Levels range from beginner to advanced, so you can choose the level that is right for you. Joining an immersive learning environment with a group of three to five students and a native teacher in each class. So this is great to practice speaking and get individual feedback. So let me tell you about Lingoda's Sprint Challenge. This is an intensive 30 day course designed to help students stay motivated and build a daily language learning habit. There are two options, the Sprint Challenge, which is 15 lessons in 30 days, or the Super Sprint Challenge, which is 30 lessons in 30 days. Rain. This is a great opportunity for all levels. For example, if you have previous knowledge of a language but you're a little bit stuck, you need structure and motivation to get back on track, you will see fast progress. And at the same time, gaining rewards. On completion of your challenge, you can choose to receive credits or cash back. This sprint challenge method is proven to boost your confidence communicating in your target language. It's all about consistency and to see bigger progress with your language skills, Lingoda also has available additional practice exercises and also quizzes and flashcards. Don't miss out on this one-time offer to boost your language learning with Lingoda's Sprint Challenge. Click the link in the description box below or use our code to get $25 off your Lingoda Sprint registration. And anyway, we're gonna head out now, get the nails, and also see if we can grab a dog that needs surgery, sterilization, because there's a spay day on today. So it'd be really awesome if we could get one of the dogs in our local area, so they don't have any more beans. Hi, hey, baby. Wanna get away? Come on, baby. Oh, good girl. We managed to get one of the dogs for surgery, but then she escaped, so that was not very productive of us. But we've got the nails and the tienda, so we're gonna have lunch and then get cracking back on with this table. Our neighbor's singing karaoke, I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> right, we're gonna put up our fairy lights whilst we've still got a little bit of sunshine. So hopefully they'll work later when it gets dark. Fairy lights done, let's get on with the table. We made a rookie mistake. This frame is now no good for the table, but we'll use it for something else. We're now going on this frame. Oh, 
she got? Bug. A bug. And they all want the bug. <laughs> Must be a really tasty bug. Oh look, they're still chasing her around. Go, 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 go. Okay, so my plan is to make in this area some really nice, beautiful plants that are hanging. So I'm going to learn how to make macrame. And I've never done it before, so this is my first. I'm using coconut twine because I don't have any of the actual rope that you're meant to have. And this is super cheap <laughs> and it's very natural and very Sri Lankan, of course. Maybe go get my mint plant, it's in that bucket. This is my mint plant. Let's see if it will go in. Will it fit in? Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's good, isn't it? I think I like it. That's perfect size and we didn't even measure. We just like, we just made it. It's our first time. Oh, that's so nice, I love it. For the last week, we've had really, really bad weather. So we haven't actually had time to come out here and keep going with our outside project and what we wanted to do with this space. But in that time, we've also had a change of plan. So the pallet table that we made last week, we're actually gonna cut that in half today. And we wanna make like a basic kitchen slash like worktop, nice area. I have a vision. I don't think the Harry understands my vision. But we're going to be working on that today. And then instead of this table here, we're actually going to put our old table there, give it another lick of paint, put the chairs there as well, and it will be an almost finished space. So let's get going. Right, so I think what we need to do, we need to put one in One table is now two. Okay, should we put them inside? Cute. Nice! I like that a lot. another productive morning today we have been busy well I've been finishing off the workspace that we started yesterday I'm just waiting for that to dry so then we can start putting all of our items in place and then Lahiri has also been really busy trying to refurbish our old lounge chairs our deck chairs that we got from our friends a while ago the dogs they went for a stage of destroying things well Betty did anyway <laughs> who has now gone to England with her family. She's been there for like one week now, I think. And yeah, so she and the others destroyed our deck chairs, which are like rattan weave. And we didn't want to just chuck them away and buy new deck chairs because that's not what we're about. So we wanted to repurpose them, upcycle them somehow. So we thought with the leftover wood from the pallets that we got, which of course are secondhand too, we would then create our deck chairs with them, like half and half, half rattan, half pallet. And I quite like how it looks. Anyway, Lahiri's gone to make lunch. I think, 
rest of the day. Oh, I don't know, there's some blue skies coming. We're having a little bit of rain again. Every day it's rain at the moment. <laughs> Not complaining though, because everything is green and everything's growing really well, but it just means that you can't be as productive. But I think after lunch, if we can start focusing on the inside and moving our other table outside and getting this area kind of finished. You know when you envision something and you just don't know if it's gonna work or not? That's how I felt at the start of this. I was like, mm, it's probably not gonna work or it's probably gonna look really silly and not good at all. But now we've put it all into place, it's starting to look just as I envisioned it to be. So I'm really excited to get that finished off. Oh, by the way, not sure if anyone's noticed, but I got my hair cut again <laughs> and I went a little bit shorter than I did last time just because why not and it grows so quickly anyway so I thought you know what I'm just gonna chop it off again for maybe the last time and see how it is just a little bit shorter and then I'll probably grow it again after this and not get it cut short but what do you guys think is it good do you like it or do you like me better with long hair let me know all right so that's us done for the day my hands are very disgusting now after using that paint it's going to take a lot to get that off but we've had another productive day we've sanded and painted this table sanded and painted this chair which we've refurbed our refurbed chairs and table we've completed this chair that we made out of the pallets sanded and varnished and we've completed our refurbed secondhand deck chairs which are very, very comfortable to lie on, which we found out in our tea break. And now, yeah, just gonna finish cleaning up and enjoy our evening, I think. Hopefully next time we switch on the camera for this video, it will be putting everything into place and having a very lovely, again, patio area. And I'm gonna move this chair upstairs to its rightful place at the desk, which will be a really wonderful workspace. Okay, boy. Boy. This is now our patio area. This is nice and table up. Chair have. Our patio area finished today, our dog is happy, this roof finished, light half, very light half. Chair <laughs> <laughs> half, the sun fading one. Yeah, it's amazing. Yep, so we're super happy with how it's turned out. It's real nice. We can actually sit out here in the peak heat of the day and not like fry to death. <laughs> because it gets so hot here, but now we've got the roof, we can actually utilize this space, like in any time of the day, any weather, we can still sit out here. And I'm really excited to sit here and do some work because it's really beautiful. We're literally in nature, like we're just surrounded by trees and it's just so magical here. And I just love being outside and this space is just exactly how we want it now. So yeah. <laughs> And we've also finished this inside space. So this is pallet wood that's now converted into a worktop. So this space can actually be converted into a kitchen. And that's actually what we hope to use it for in the near future because we've actually started renting out our home. Our renovated side is now available for people to book. And we are really enjoying hosting people here. So it's really nice that we have this space so we can cook breakfast for people or also cook dinner if requested. So I'm really excited for that because I love hospitality. That's the area that I'm actually trained in and I have qualifications in management there. So I really am looking forward to putting our lifestyles together and yeah, being able to host people here. So if you're interested and you'd like to come stay with us, just get in contact with me and I'll send you through the link so you can book. But yeah, really happy with the space. It's really nice. It makes everything a little bit more organized. And yeah, the outside space is just so, so beautiful and the sun is out. 
Thank you this video watching and like and comment and subscribe. Yeah, thanks so much guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you Bye. next week. <laughs>